Today we're going to talk about another technology pioneer, Sir Tim Berners-Lee. Sir Tim Berners-Lee was the guy who single-handedly invented the World Wide Web. In case you didn't know, in order to get the name Sir, you must have been knighted by the Queen of England. The Queen of England does not knight just anybody, so Sir Tim Berners-Lee obviously has a huge impact on our world. Sir Tim Berners-Lee was a computer scientist, and he was working at CERN, which is a European organization that does nuclear research. He was extremely frustrated that there wasn't a better way to share information and research with his colleagues. So he drafted a proposal, gave it to his boss for what soon would become the World Wide Web. He spent time developing the technologies. He created the first web server on a home PC. He created HTML, HTTP, everything that was needed in order to create the World Wide Web so that all of us could create, share, and link information. I've got a great resource for you here. I want you to watch this video, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. It explains Berners-Lee's odyssey and what was behind him creating the World Wide Web. And then I want you to watch a quick video about web standards. By now you're probably starting to realize that it's these uh, protocols, rules, common, universally adopted, accepted ways of doing things that make the internet and the World Wide Web so powerful. By everyone agreeing to follow the same conventions, we are able to do things universally. That's where the power lies. To this very day, there are organizations that help define what a standard way of doing something is. So the World Wide Web Consortium or the W3C is responsible for many different web standards that have to do with HTML and CSS and the technologies that you and I rely upon to um, be on the World Wide Web. To this very day, Berners-Lee is involved in these and other organizations. On the Learn More slide, you will find there are four resources that I want you to explore to learn more about the World Wide Web and Berners-Lee. And then I have my Worth a Thousand Words slide where I try to find interesting facts about the person. The picture on the left is the world's first web server, which was built by Berners-Lee using an old school Next PC. And then I show you in the middle how he's even featured on stamps around the world. And in the 2012 Olympic Games, he was part of the opening ceremony. That's how proud um, the United Kingdom was of their um, native son. As always, we can learn so much from the words of these people who uh, change our world. So take a moment to look at some of the quotes that are attributable to Berners-Lee. And remember, you're going to be taking everything that you've learned all the interesting facts that you've pulled out of these resources and you're going to be sharing your point of view in a classroom discussion.